This pesky weed that could overrun your garden is known in Jamaica as seed baka leaf or karami seed. And today we're going to be exploring its properties, uses, and benefits in Jamaican medicinal folklore. Now, the scientific name for seed baka leaf is Philanthus nairuri. It is a plant that is native to tropical countries such as Africa, Jamaica, and other Caribbean countries and India. Now, the leaf of the plant bears similar resemblance to a few other tropical plants, namely the tamarind leaf or shame old lady or touch me not. However, this plant is distinguished, like you'll know this plant because you will notice that there are seeds behind the leaves so that's how you'd make the distinction and so we can conclude that this is why jamaicans have so named the plant seed baka leaf now the seed baka leaf is what jamaicans would describe as it little but it talawa because this little plant is a wonder herb that has some amazing benefits so jamaicans back then use this plant for its effects on the kidney it is thought that the seed baka leaf it breaks up kidney stones and so it is also called the stone breaker the seed baka leaf was also used back then to clean the urinary tract and so it was also thought to be a powerful treatment for things like urinary tract infections seed baka leaf is said to have antiviral properties and so back in the day when many jamaicans could not afford mainstream medical treatment the plant was used to treat things such as herpes yes guys it's one of the few plants that is used to treat herpes so the seed baka leaf was used in jamaican folklore as well to break up gallstones in the body another reason why you can see it is named the stone breaker it was used also in the treatment of gout so the plant was also used back in the day as a liver cleanse and to support the function of the liver so because of its effects on the liver it was also used to treat things like sugar what we now call diabetes and jaundice the anti-inflammatory property of the seed baka leaf or the karami seed also made it an excellent treatment for stomach issues sometimes what jamaicans refer to as bad stomach the seed baka leaf was used back in the day along with the dopigon and milkweed um, that is this plant here it was brewed as a tea and again family used as a treatment for another sexually transmitted disease gonorrhea so guys you know our people back then would use these things because medical care was not so accessible and more persons used to believe in the effects of herbs so family i would like to draw your attention to what is happening here in nature if you look carefully you will see that the seed baka leaf and the milkweed the same plants that we use together for herpes they are growing harmoniously side by side isn't that an indication isn't that just amazing no some things to know about the seed baka leaf it is an invasive plant the seeds germinate readily and so it can easily take over its environment so the second thing to note about the seed baka leaf it is alkaline in nature and because of this it is used to treat things like stomach ulcers one of the confirmed side effects of the seed baka leaf is that it causes frequent urination and this family was considered by our four parents to be a detoxifying effect now this is it for the seed baka leaf family i am fziba i thank you very much for watching please do not forget to give the video a like and if you have not already subscribed to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell i will see you in the next video